What's up, what's up? Today we're talking the Uncharted 4 review. And we're talking about graphics. Graphically, this game is probably the best looking game on PlayStation 4. I'm sorry, the best looking game I've ever seen on the console. Hands down, period. There's nothing else to say about it. The graphics, the details, everything is flawless graphically in this game. The story mode is so good. It's about the tale of two brothers from the small beginnings to their greatness. You know, Sleep Parker is Magna. And it started out with, you know, telling you all about Drake's backstory and everything and how he became who he is and the real the real names, what happened to their family. And it's such a good story, it's such an engaging story. And all the characters had development, all the characters are likable. I mean, the game is literally like watching a movie or playing a movie, if you will. It's a beautiful story, uh, one of the best parts about the Uncharted series. Just look at this detail. Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. Okay, so, so. The sounds good has always been, the banter between the brothers, the comedy, the gunfire, everything sounds good. Let's see these examples. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Client's paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down and make some pennies? <laughs> the gameplay, of course, is what brings us all together. Uh, the multiplayer is a smooth 60 frames per second. Uh, it looks beautiful, runs at 900p. Uh, it's smooth, it's responsive, it's fun. Uh, the best multiplayer since Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2, um, as far as the skill base, is still the best. But when it comes to this, uh, the gameplay being so smooth just beats Uncharted 2 overall. Um, the single player, you know, story is amazing. As we already discussed, the gameplay in there is tight, it's responsive. Uh, you might have some minor flaws here and there when it comes to grappling, or not grappling, but grabbing, I should say. Uh, every blue moon, but it's still really good. It usually it's flawless. The, the allies and stuff in this game now help you out so much. They actually, you know, beat enemies and everything now, and actually are, you know, saying you, you need them. Like, they actually kill people and actually, th actually get people off of you. Uh, so it's great. They're way more useful than they ever have been. Um, this got plenty of loadouts, plenty of customizables, and point-based system, very similar to Uncharted 3, so with, with tweaks. Um, and it's it's really good. This new kickbacks or sidekicks, kickbacks in Uncharted 3 do not feel overpowered. They feel pretty balanced for the game. Hopefully, we get an Uncharted 2 classic style. That would be nice to play with no extra perks, no extra help. But uh, the multiplayer is good. It's really good. The gameplay in this game is on point. Slight, you know, problems here and there, but they always get patched out later. As you see, an online bug. Hate these. Overall, Uncharted 4 is one of the best in the series. For me personally, I think it goes from Uncharted 2, Uncharted 4, it's a close second. Uh, then Uncharted 3, then Uncharted 1. Um, even Uncharted 1 and 3, that's, that's hard, because Uncharted 1 really had a good story and everything. But 3 had more refined gameplay and better graphics. But 9.5, it has its issues, um, but overall the game is really good. It's a great game, the best game on the PS4 thus far. Definitely worth having, definitely worth playing, no question about it. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Catch you guys later. See you guys on Uncharted. Till next time, peace out. Bye-bye.